okay in this video we are going to discuss the classification of caries as a very common classification of caries is based on jv black's classification right that this is we all know rather than this we have five more uh, categories in which caries is classified right the first is based on the anatomic site then we have caries that is based on the cause causative factors then we have caries that is based on the saliva then it is uh, classified on the basis of rate of progression and then the final one is based on the hard tissue involvement right oh, let me write it here hard tissue involvement these are the five classification on the which the basic uh, uh, caries is classified rather than JV classification that is very common one anatomic sign based on the causative factors saliva presence rate of progression and heart tissue involvement so we'll discuss JV bad classification that is divided into six classes a uh, class one involves the occlusal edge of the posterior teeth class two involving the proximal occlusal uh, edge uh, along with the proximal box of the posterior teeth that is if this is the teeth this is class 1 if this is the teeth this is class 2 then class 3 is uh, involved in it is on the interiors right but it does not involve the incisal edge right the fourth one it involves the incisal edge incisal edge involvement of the interior teeth right if this is the teeth right into your teeth so uh, this is the class 3 or this is the class uh, sorry uh, if this is the interior teeth this this is the class 3 or if this is the interior teeth the uh, class 4 will, would be this involving the incisal edge fifth one is involving the cervical portion of the tooth if this is the interior teeth caries over here is at the class 5 caries and class 6 is the caries that involve the occlusal edge involving the occlusal edge of both the interiors and posteriors right if this is the interior this one would be the 6 or in posterior let me draw here this one would be the 6 Okay, here we will discuss the anatomic uh, classification of caries based on the anatomic types. We have two basic types, pits and fissure that in concludes the class 1. Caries and smooth surface and smooth surface we have interproximal surface that concludes the class 2 posterior caries and then in class 3 we have interior cervical caries. In class 4 we have the root caries. In the next we are going to discuss the hard tissue involved uh, caries classification. It includes the involvement of cement enamel into the caries, involvement of uh, dentine, and involvement of cementum in the caries process. Here we are discussing the classification that is based on the rate of progression of uh, caries. Now it is divided into incipient, acute, or impact, and chronic caries. In incipient caries, it involves um, uh, the caries that involve the white spot lesion. right and in acute and rampart caries which is the caries that is rapidly progressing right this is rapidly progressing and in chronic it involves the caries that is uh, not uh, demineralizing now the demineralization has ceased here right not demineralizing demineralization process has ceased i hope it is visible it's a white spot lesion acute and rampart caries in chronic and 